ready to work today and obviously a few days ahead with um, a couple early days of Wisconsin work last week um, and we look forward to playing. So any questions you have? It'll be easy. Yeah, yeah let's yeah. just start with injuries. How's Daniel Swartz? He's good. Practice full speed, no problems. How's Terrence Aletto? Um, he's practiced as well and should be returning to play this week. Is Minaki by Taito healthy? Minaki's healthy and a few issues between he and I that are under contract that he's working on. Are you still trying to figure out the, the punt return or are you going to zero in on something fairly early? Uh, fairly early. Bronco. Any idea who that would be? Not yet. <laughs> Gary takes that job at Wisconsin. There are others like Cal, some other tougher jobs that open. Did that surprise you at all that he got such a big job? No, he's, he's, he's qualified, um, did a really nice job with Utah State, did a nice job at Utah as the coordinator, and he deserved it, and he's done a nice job already with them, so it doesn't surprise me. What, what do you see as far as where has he put his imprint on um, oh, that I, program? I think um, it's a little early to say, it, um, and I think time will tell, but... Obviously, he's coached them to be tough. He's coached them to be physical. Um, and I see some things of what he likes to do defensively uh, already. And offensively, they're very similar to what they were prior to them arriving. And, but that's what uh, their new coordinator offensively, coming from San Diego State, that was a similar style to what Wisconsin did anyway. So they're similar. What will you do to replace Austin Jordan's and how will you change the inside of um, We really won't. Uh, the next player up is Teyu Kautai, so he becomes number four. And then three-man rotation between Manoa, Tyler, and Wani for the two spots. Can you talk about the depth at linebacker and just specifically about Pakula, how he's stepped up? Manoa's really played well, and so we think we have three really quali three real quality players at inside backer, and then now at outside backer with Kyle, um, Spencer, and Alani, that's about what we have, so six really to handle the spots. Can you talk about Alani manning the nickelback? It's kind of an unusual nickelback uh, or something. He's doing a really nice job. He's fast, he's athletic, and um, he could play safety really easy. With J.D. breaking his hand at a team activity, will that cause you to maybe rethink doing that sort of thing in a bye week? No. Um, I thought it was a, a great, great activity and just... Uh, could have happened dropping his books and falling down for him in the snow or something. Um, I, I wouldn't change anything. I feel bad that it happened, but uh, after riding maybe 30 waves or something, sometimes that happens when you get on a board. Is a bye week a good time for, for you and some of the other coaches to think about all this taking place and how far you've come this season? Oh man, I'm, um, we haven't taken much time to reflect. A lot of um, self-analysis from schem schematically and that kind of thing, but too early to say how far we've come. We're more looking forward to where we're going. When looking at Wisconsin on film, is that the most physical front you, you've seen in a while? Mm -hmm. Just how do they compare? Hard, hard to tell on film. Um, it will only take a couple series for us to know, but they sure look good on film. Could there be an issue because they you've been using just a handful of defensive linemen against what they bring? Everybody's about 320 on their line. Yeah. Um, so we'll probably play, um, we've been playing five consistently the past few weeks, and it'll probably be that, five, maybe a sixth, but I don't think we'll change much. Uh, we're not going to be playing as many plays. With Gary there and having familiarity with BYU, does that change your preparation at all? I don't think so. Um, there's, there's a decent knowledge on both sides, and it really will come down to execution. And, man, I think it'll be a great game. Looking forward to it. Obviously, it's a... Uh, game of opposing tempos, what is kind of the defensive, defense's mentality in terms of changing that for, for Wisconsin? Their, their defense or ours? Your defense, I mean, kind of imposing that. Mm. Uh, you know, um, they, they're pretty hard to have anything imposed on. They are slow and steady in terms of their tempo. Uh, they love to run the football. They love to take as much time as possible, and then they like to throw play-action pass and are pretty volatile that way. But... Um, there's really not much we're going to be doing uh, to control their tempo other than if we're able to play well on third down and get off the field. It's been about 20 years, I think, since BYU's played a team in the Big Ten. I mean, is this another example uh, of what an independent schedule can do for you guys? Man, I, I love it. Um, it's been really fun watching the Big Ten opponents, and um, it's a great fit. I like the focus on academics, um, and I like the matchup. I, I like to schedule more and more of the Big Ten teams. I think it's a, a great fit. How did this game come around? I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember how it came around. 
how much would a win against Wisconsin do for the program in the long term? Oh, I'm not sure. Um, it's a quality opponent on the road, which any top 25 team, um, which um, I believe we're knocking on the door of that as well. So this will be a great chance to, to prove um, for either team where we stand. Gary met with media today and said, you two text a little bit. And how has your relationship maybe bonded since he's left the state? Oh, it's been really, it was really good. As soon as he left uh, the U, it changed. Um, and he was much more open and normal, actually, <laughs> in terms of public relations and our friendship. Um, and then we recruited his son, um, which that was a great relationship. So we've gotten to know each other well. And I think there's mutual respect and admiration that just took him changing schools. Do you appreciate that this might be a, a little exciting for him to, to have BYU out to Madison? I oh, I, I'm, I'm sure he's looking forward to it. And, and, um, and uh, I look forward to having the favor returned at some point. As far as they, they're one of the best rushing teams in the nation, is your defense stout enough up front you think, to handle that pounding? Mm, we'll find out. Um, I think they're rushing it for almost 300 a game, regardless of who they play, whether it's Iowa, Northwestern, Ohio State. There's some variance here and there, but that's just who they are. And so um, the number one thing I care about is uh, how many points they score. And if we can manage that well, we'll have a chance to win. You doing anything in terms of crowd noise management? Uh, no, we, we just turned on music today, and we didn't have anybody jumping in our indoor facility, but um, <laughs> maybe that'll be tomorrow. All right.